the miller modigliani model of dividend valuation the miller modigliani suggests that the dividend payout is an irrelevant decision in valuing the company assume pradi ca limited has shares trading in the market at a price of rupees 20 it has a projected earnings for the next year of rupees 3 lakhs the number of shares trading in the market are 50000 and the cost of equity of the company is 15 percent each the company has found a new project to invest in which gives a return of 18 percent and requires an investment of 6 lakh 20 thousand rupees it is also contemplating whether to pay a dividend of rupees 2 or not so how does the dividend impact the company let's see Let's take both the cases. In case one, the dividend of rupees two is paid, and in case two, no dividend is paid. We use a single period holding model to value the shares at the end of the year in both the cases. We substitute the values of P naught, that is the price today, and the dividend to arrive at the value of the price at the end of the year. It should be noted that even if we use a multiple period holding model. we would still arrive at the same price after discounting our company has a retained earnings of rupees 3 lakhs which we all know in the first case since the dividend of rupees 2 is paid for 50000 shares the remaining retained earnings available for investment are only rupees 2 lakhs in the second case since no dividend is paid the entire 3 lakhs is available for reinvestment our project requires 6 lakh 20000 funding in the first case an additional 4 lakh 20000 will be required and in the second case just 3 lakh 20000 is required our company will be going for a fresh issue to fund the project In the first case since 4 lakh 20000 is additionally required we go for an issue at the current market price of 21 requiring 20000 shares In the second case since only 3 lakh 20000 is required it is sufficient if we raise 13913 shares to fund the project Let us see how the value of the company has been affected in both the cases In the first case 50000 shares which is the original equity plus 20000 shares which is the fresh equity comprise of the float of the company this multiplied by 21 which is the market price at the end of the year gives us the value of the company in the second case too we take a similar approach to value the price of the company and ultimately its value we find that in the second case too we arrive at the same value of the company this makes dividend an irrelevant decision in finding the value of the company